Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you video remover. So I recently just started using this platform and I think that it is a good enough platform if you want to try to invest in stocks. So you just need to search in Google BDO Nomura but the qualifications is you need to have an BDO account and you need to enroll it on online banking. So once you have online banking in BDO, you could just log in. I have really been curious in stocks ever since but I didn't know uh, what platform to use but my friend had referred me to this and I decided to try it out. Once you have video online, you can just use the username and password and you could log into BDO Nomura. So once you log in, you will be receiving a OTP so you need to have your phones ready. So let's enter the number. I'm not an expert on stocks, so I'm just going to show you a quick overview and navigation or some opinions that I think might be helpful. So once we get inside, you could uh, click on education first to browse on some reading materials. So the first one that I use is how to use BDO Nomura online trading platform. And this has an overview on the navigation on how to trade. So how to buy, sell, what are the buttons. So it's all here. So you could just read it if you have time. And I think it's helpful. So once you're done with education and you're ready to invest, you just click fund account. So once you click fund account, you could see that uh, you need to select your bank account. So here, then you click blue view balance. Then you could just type the amount that you want to transfer. It automatically transfer from your bank account to BDO Nomura. So the suggested amount to start stocks is 5,000 and above. So, so once you have inputted your amount, just click deposit. So since I have money already, I will just click close. And it's very easy to withdraw your cash back. So just click on withdraw, then just enter the amount that you want to withdraw back and it will automatically go back into your bank account. So once you're ready to trade, just click trade. Then you'll be redirected to the trading page. So this is the trading page and there's a lot of numbers. At first I was I was lost. I don't know where to look, like what values to look at. But after uh, reading and looking at other tutorials, I have gain a bit knowledge so the trading time i think is uh, 9 30 a.m to 3 30 p.m every monday to friday now it's around 9 p.m so it's not active anymore so you need to trade tomorrow at 9 30 a.m let me break it down so you would understand it easier so in here you could see all the company that sell their stocks Disclaimer, I am no expert. I'm just showing you on the basic navigation and tips that maybe it could help you. So let's start. So example, you want to buy Mega World. So where would you look? So for now, if you want to buy Mega World, the price is 4.84. So you makukuha mo na siya agad. But if you want to wait, like you could bid. So example, uh, you want to buy Mega World, you could check in analysis, then charts on the graph. So you need to put their keyword, so Meg for Mega World. Then you could view if it the price gets low. So, so I think it will be easier to look in columns. Then you could adjust it to like for 2019, uh, it's, it's 
it has gone low so the highest is around 6.5 then now it's around 4.8 so you could think that it's worth investing so if you decide to buy like there's risk in stocks so kailangan spare money yung ilalagay mo dito so you, if you want to buy it for 4.84 just click buy oops just click buy then you'll be you you'll be redirected to order entry so just click buy then uh, order type limit board normal so fill type so fill type I hindi ko masyado alam o lahat pero for day I noticed that day is just for the trading day so if you bought it today and the day ends uh, the money will return to you if hindi siya nabili mababalik sa iyo yung money so for GTC I think it's for 30 days or you choose to cancel off the bidding siguro sa una medyo mahirap iget but as you experiment then mas magigets mo siya. So kunyari day. So for this day, you could adjust the quantity and the price. So for the blue part, this is uh, the bidders are the ones who wants to buy the stock. So the first one is he or she wants to buy the stock for 4.83 per unit. For one quantity, it's 4.83. So, so for example, I want to buy uh, 10 quantity, so 10 stocks for the price of, I think, parang siguro na mahalin ako sa 4.84. I could adjust it to 4.80. So once the trading starts and mababa yung price and it hits 4.8, so mabibili mo yung 10 stocks. So you could lower it like 4.7. So if pumasok siya, nagbumaba yung price, tumugma dun sa mga nagbenta, you would get 10 stocks. 10 stocks of Mega World. Pero may minimum siya. So sa mo makikita yung minimum. So mura nga siya 4.83. But the minimum is 1,000 yung quantity. Makikita mo dito sa lot. So you need to buy, so the quantity needs to be 1,000. So you need 1,000. So it amounts to this. So kailangan, kaya rin ng buying power mo yun. Kasi pag hindi, hindi mo rin siya may bibili. Buying power suggested is 5,000. Kasi every transaction, may, ano yan, may deduction transaction fee. Like may investors. May brokers commission nata parang ganun, 20 pesos. Those me ilang percentage deduction pa. I recommend that ano, pwede hiwalay hiwalay bumili, pero kailangan medyo 5,000, 5,000. Kasi parang ang sayang, ang sayang kasi nakakain ng transaction fee. So, if, if you, you want, want to buy this, this just click buy. buy. But, but since I don't have, have yeah, it, it would. I don't, I don't have, have enough, enough money. money. Yeah, it will, will just show insufficient funds. So for easier understanding, it is like a uh, supermarket. So, so parang palengke siya. Yung tindera at kaya yung namimili kaya nagamatch yung price para magtransak. So it's easier that way. You could see, you could see the stocks that you bought in equity holding. So, so I have bought Jollibee and I have bought like 10. So I was just testing this out. And makikita mo dito if it is. So I have bought JFC, Jollibee and for now I'm at loss. So you will see the positive and negative here. So it will make you decide if you can sell it or still wait for it to go up. Then for trade, you could see the order book, which is uh, 
what you transact for the day or you could look at order history like for this order history uh, you want to see the transactions that you made so here you could see the transactions that you made like the total order the price that you bought uh, the price that you bought yeah so you could see it all here and for the traded orders you could see that only one isa lang yung pumasok so for the change it is the indicator if it has gone down or or the stock has gained money so if pumagsak siya it's a great opportunity to buy but make sure na hindi siya tuloy-tuloy mag down that's why it, i think pdo has a weekly wrap so let's let's go back to this page uh, i think it's in research so so they have weekly reports that you could read like they give a summary on uh, stocks that are good and stocks are a bit risky so let's check it but it's not loading again So in here, you could look at the weekly wrap. So this is this is a sample of the weekly wrap. So these are the best performers and worst performers, most actively traded. So maybe this could be a good guide on what stocks to watch out for. So, example, ito. The share price weakness of TMC presents a buying opportunity. So, this for example, it's suggesting that TMC has a low price now. So, it's a great opportunity to buy this stock. So, this is just a quick guide. So, like this. Like, ito may decline. So, you are seeing down by 4%. So, it would adv advise you if it's a good buy or a bit risky so here you could also see the stocks and, and i'm still on my learning curve honestly on stock market because i just started and i have just tried to buy was some stocks at one company and i'm still waiting for my next sahod to buy so that's all thank you for watching my videos see you on my next video bye